Hello, classy, classy people. How y'all doing? T-G-I-F. It's Friday. We got a big week of racing. Why wouldn't I have some funk in the background? I'm fired up. We're here to do the Zenyatta Stakes. Uh-oh. Grade 2? Implication? Breeder Cup? Distab. What's the name of the race? It's called the Zenyatta Stakes? Oh, my God. Before we dive in. Let's do me a big favor. I need your support this Friday. Come on and subscribe, ring the bell, comment, like us, watch the videos, donate us, listen to a little jazz. Your speed king's fired up. It's Friday. I'm having a bunch of fun. Santa Anita, ninth race on Sunday. The Zenyatta Stakes. It's going to be a good one. If you win, it's usually just a prep race. For what? For the distaff. The Zenyatta Stakes, let me just clear it up. Rachel Alexandra would have beat Zenyatta hands down. I don't want to start no trouble. The Zenyatta Stakes, please. Zenyatta couldn't be on the same racetrack as Rachel. That's my girl, Rachel. Zenyatta was bad also. She was nice. Well, the Zenyatta Stakes is a mile and an eighth. A grade two, I believe it's 400 grand. 200 grand. It got a little cheap. The number one horse, Samurai Charge, Charm, six starts, five wins. Wow. The number one horse, Sam Samurai Charm. I'm doing this analysis live. I typically do this in advance. Samurai Charm has six starts, five wins, one third. That is awfully good. Trained by Peter Miller. What else is new? Well, once again, when Peter Miller shows up, and he's in the race, and it's got money surrounding it, you better pay attention. This horse is 10 to 1. This here, Samurai Charm, has done nothing wrong. Six starts, five wins, like I said, by First Samurai, trained again by Peter Miller, by a mayor called Backseat Charm, who was by Silver Charm. Remember the Silver Charm? And this is a very, very nice horse. Speed figures are in line. The speed figures are okay on Samurai um, uh, Charm, and it's uh, <laughs> pretty hard to knock this here, Philly. It's hard to knock the one horse. Six starts, five wins. Peter Miller, looking for the money. Ten to one, too. Where can you bet a ten to one horse, by the way, that has won five of his six starts? Wow. And the last one that he won was at, uh, I think it was... Uh, down in Del Mar, the horse won the race on August 22nd, which was an allowance race. And then Los Alamitos' stake race on uh, September 19th was the Dark uh, Mirage Stakes for 75000 Just overnight stake races. Speed figures are okay. Um, man, we spend a lot of time on this Samurai horse. Hey, listen, 10 to 1, not bad. If you like this horse, I manage I mean, horse won five or six starts. Well, you want, well, 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 horse can't do no more than that, can he? Um, the number two horse, well, here's his problem right here. I mean, this is a very, very nice horse. The only thing I don't like about him is, you know, I mean, he's trained by Bob Baffert. I don't got anything negative against Bob or anything. But as time goes by, this is a very, very nice filly. Um, this horse has uh, nine starts, four wins, two seconds, and one third. Looks like the likely winner in this spot. Speed figure is very, very good. Came out of the personal ensign race uh, with Latruska and Bonnie South and Royal Flag, of course. And the race before then was the, um, I think that was the Hearst, the Clement, the Clement Hearst Stakes uh, at uh, Del Mar on August 1st, where she dared a devil. Uh, you know, the horse ran four. So again, I understand why the number two horse, as time goes by, is the favorite. The last two races is not indicative of how this horse runs. Um, the race on August 1st in the Clement Hirsch race, she dares the devil. Uh, she was uh, three to two in that race. She didn't pick up her feet. Speed pick was okay. She was fourth by 14. And then the next day, bring her out in the personal incident. I mean, she wasn't going nowhere against Latruska, right? And Bonnie South, that's a Mary Halls. And she finished 6 by 13. This horse's last effort is across this track on May 22nd in the um, uh, Saint, uh, Santa Maria Stakes. 
and that was very nice. This horse looks like a horse for the course, to be honest with you. This horse loves Santa Anita. The bag race at Del Mar in the Clemente Hurst race, 4th by 14, if she dares the devil. Saratoga, August 28th, 6th uh, by 13 to Latruska and Bonnie South and Royal Flag. This horse loves Santa Anita. That's why this horse is 2 to 1 as time, as, uh, time goes by. Okay, very, very strong here. And she runs that speed figure three back. They won't have to look far for the winner, trust me. And she should, because she hasn't had an effort since May. And her workouts, let me see, last race on the 28th. Let's see how her workouts, September 10th, September 18th, September 26th. Okay, they're steady, all right? So as time goes by, as your two to one favorite, the number two horse, um, one of four of nine starts, and of course, by American Farrell. Um, very, very nice uh, four-year-old filly. And the number three horse, Private Mission. I, I had landed on this horse, and I think it was scratched a couple, a week or so ago. Private Mission is a very, very nice horse, the number three horse. Um, I don't see anything wrong with this horse. Uh, come out of that Tory Pines. Is that the Tory Pines stakes? Yeah, the Tory Pines stakes race um, on August 21st. Uh, at Del Mar, ran out of the TV screen, one by six, went to the front or just after the first quarter and just jiggy jogged around the race course of grade three uh, with, of course, Flavian Pratt up in the yard, another Bob Baffert horse. So Bob Baffert has the two as time goes by, and he has the number three here, private mission. Four starts, three wins, right? So Bob is trying to circle the wagons here, trying to take a page from Chad Brown, downtown Brown. Pop's got the two and three, the favorite and co-favorite, you know. And his hand looks strong. It looks strong in this race. So, of course, the two and the three are very, very strong contenders in this spot. The number four horse, Miss Bigley. Miss Bigley, 22 starts, seven wins, three seconds, and six thirds. You can't sneeze at that, 400,000. Mr. D'Amato is your trainer of record. Overnight stake race on the 27th of uh, August at Del Mar. Uh, it was the uh, Tranquility Lakes uh, stake race. Uh, speed figure is okay. Uh, is it just as good as um, Private Mission? Not even close. You know, she's a cup below Miss Bigley, and uh, I don't think she's going to be able to tangle with this bunch. The number five horse, California Kook. Oh, what a great name. A bunch of kooks. California Kook, that's right. 16 starts, 3. I didn't call people a kook. 16 starts, 3 wins, 4 seconds. Uh, up, Peter Miller once again. Peter Miller got the number one horse. We spent a tremendous amount of time on Samurai um, Charm. And the number five, California Kook. And again, typical Peter Miller. Let's take a minute here. California Kook, 16 starts, 3 wins, 4 seconds. California Bread. Um, horse won and ran second in an allowance race uh, last time on August 22nd. Ran second to who? The other Peter Miller horse, Samurai Charm. Right? Allowance, allowance. That's what California Kook has. Right? Turf race allowance, turf race allowance. Where does the horse show up? Zenyatta grade two, Peter Miller. When they have no business in the race, that's when you pay him attention. I, it's just, I've been watching it for years. It's just, I don't know what he does, but this horse really shouldn't compete in this race. Um, but it is Peter Miller. Uh, he's 8-1, to one, California Cook. I don't particularly like him in this spot. Um, you know, uh, I'm just going to leave him open. I'm not going to play him on top, but, you know, I don't like California Cook in this spot. I'm going to go ahead and throw him out. You know me. The number six, Mick Stormy D. Well, here's a problem right here. I don't know how good Bob Baffert's two and three horses uh, as time goes by. The number deuce and the three private mission, right? They're very good, but they're, you might have some problems here, Bob, in the form of the number six, Miss Stormy D. Well, I tell you right now, Carla Gaines has this horse. 17 starts, 4 wins, 4 seconds, and 2 thirds. Coming off of a beautiful race, June 26, right at, um, uh, where, PLN. Uh, she's a Tiger Stakes. It's an overnight stakes race. It's not great. It's only 75000 And the speed figure is absolutely gorgeous on it. We haven't seen the horse 
for about three months now, um, actually 99 days or 95 days. Uh, was a vet scratch on August 27th at Del Mar. Um, has run in graded races back there. Uh, I tell you now, the two horse, as time goes by, did beat this horse on the 22nd of May back there in the San Santa Maria Stakes on the 22nd of May, and um, Miss Stormy D ran third in that race. Okay, but I'm going to tell you, I like this horse, you know, for a couple reasons. Uh, the horse got quite a bit of experience with 17 starts and has earned enough money. It's a five-year-old mare, and she's coming off a pretty big break, and um, the speed figures are just as in line with the two and the three in this race, as far as I'm concerned. She is 15 to 1. That makes it even nicer for me, and it doesn't hurt that I get to back Carla Gain. You know I am about our female trainers. I always want to see them win graded, graded stakes race. I would love to see Carla Gain win this race. And I don't think Miss Stormy D is a reach here. I really don't. Um, again, I know that she is a cut below uh, as time goes by if you run those races three back. Uh, that, you know, you know, as time goes by, it has at Santa Anita. It's going to be a short price. It's Bob Baffert. The three is going to be a short price. It's Bob Baffert. And, of course, those are your likely winners of the race. But I wouldn't look past the six, Miss Stormy D. I like the horse. I like everything about him. Freshened up. Got Carla Gaines, who's a tremendous trainer. And he's 15 to 1. Speed figures aren't that horrible. And the horse has a lot of seasoning as a five-year-old mare with 17 starts and four wins, which is about 25%. Can't knock that. That's the number six, Miss Stormy D. And the number seven horse, Lady Kate. Well, I was on Lady Kate a while ago. 16 starts, five wins and four second. Kennedy is our trainer of record. It looks like uh, the seven horse, uh, Lady Katie, is a little overmatched here. Uh, just a bit. Got a lot of breaks, you know. Run, 128 days off. Run, 148 days off. Too many breaks. There seems to be some problem with uh, Lady Kate, you know, by Bernardini. So we're going to take a, uh, another approach and throw the number seven off the ticket. And your last horse, Stellar Sound. Stellar Sound is a very, very lightly racing four-year-old mare. Eight starts, three wins. That's not bad. And four-thirds. Uh, Mike McCarthy is trainer of record, and I'll tell you something right now. That last race was the Rancho uh, Bernardo Handicap at Del Mar on the 20th of August. That's a very, very nice race. This horse should be sitting in the catbird seat. It was a grade three race. It is by Tappet. Only got eight starts. Light on seasoning. Um, but again, huh, I wouldn't be knocking this horse for sure. I surely wouldn't be knocking the bottom horse. Okay? So, there's your field of eight in the Zenyatta on Sunday, ninth race, Santa Anita. This is usually, it serves as a prep race to it for the Breeders' Cup distaff, for mares, fillies and mares distaff. Of course, the number two, as time goes by, is the favorite, whatever. I don't particularly like him, but I will acknowledge that he should be the favorite because it looks like a horse for the course. Um, the number three horse, the other Baffert runner, um, private mission, uh, speed figures are okay, not as good as the stable mates uh, as time goes by. I like him a little bit more because he's a little more speedier than the two as time goes by. But I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and land on Miss Dormy D at 15 to 1 and try to hook up some exactors and tries in this race. I mean, that's just too big on Miss Dormy D. So your Speed King likes number 6 over the number 3 horse and over the number 2 horse, right? So I'm going to take the value in here. Of course, I know the favorites are strong here. Um, the two and the three, the both uh, big head horses Bob has. I'm not afraid of any of them, particularly when I'm getting 15 to 1. How about that? So it's going to be me and Carla Gaines, right? Go look at Miss Stormy D and tell me if I'm way off here. I don't think I am. The horse is freshening, come out of the Tory Pine stake race, right? And uh, the speed figure isn't that far off. The horse has a lot of seasoning, right? Uh, 17 starts, four wins. You can't knock that. And she has um, 
a little, a little. I don't think a chance to improve, but this is going to be your speed of the race. I think. I think she's going to try to go to the front, and I think Private Mission is going to be right there with her. They Bob Baffert horse. So there it is, folks. We understand about the favorite. We're going to lean to Miss Stormy D and Carla Gaines, as well as Mr. Franco in the arms. As always, down in the description, folks, please see our disclaimer. And as always, stay classy. Have a great weekend, will you? Have some fun. Make some shackles. Please comment. Let me know what you got out there, right? Stay classy in all that you do. And you know what happens. If those folks go low, you know what to do. You go high. You keep it classy. You keep it 100. Speaking to talk to you.